In this video, I will show you how to create carousel with Swiper.js. Swiper.js is a really popular library to create sliders or swipers or carousels. As you see, it has more than 33,000 of stars on the GitHub. And it's available for React, Solid, Svelte, Vue, Angular. Ok, let's start. We will create a simple carousel based on the create react app application i created this application i removed all boilerplate code and uh, we have only app component with div app as you see nothing else okay let's start we will use react version and uh, first of all we need install swiper as all packages for react angular are available under the Swiper main library. So inside um, our code we need yarn add Swiper. I'm using yarn as the main package manager. Also all the code sample code samples you can find uh, on the GitHub, my GitHub. The link will be under the video in the description. Okay, we need to uh, follow the documentation it's my recommendation always try to follow the main documentation on the site original official site we need import swiper swiper slide from swiper react and we need styles for this swiper so let's do it step by step inside our client i'm working on the client folder app.js we import swiper and we need import styles the next we need to return swiper with the slides let's replace our div with the swiper remove these dots and uh, what we have by default right now we have three three slides per view space between them 50 pixels and we have uh, events on slide change and on swiper where we will have some information when we swipe sliders okay let's check our application and first of all as you see we don't we can't resolve swiper css let's check why let's go to node and inside we will find swiper and um, as you see, we don't have Swiper CSS. There is no folder CSS and uh, files. If we will check packages on, you will find for export for CSS, we need to export Swiper mean CSS. It's this one under the Swiper SAS file. Okay, if it doesn't work, we import just swiper min css and it will work now let's refresh the page and as you see it works we have three slides per page we can customize it for two for example just to check how it works yep it works okay the so next i want to add some sync more visible and uh, usable I have mock JSON with the images I want to show and some titles subtitles okay inside our app jazz let's do the next we will create a new component it will be slider jazz export const slider and uh, we will move everything what we have from the app.js here it's more much more better approach with styles Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and now inside application, app file, let's import from a slider, slider component, and we have this component. Now let's check how it works. It works. Okay, the next one we need to pass some slides. As I said, we will use mock JSON. Let's import slides from mock JSON and let's pass these slides as a props slides. Right now we don't have these props. Let's add it. And now inside swiper JS we will do the next. Uh, let's go slides map slide and we want output this slide to the slide key slide image as we have images images are unique so let's put the EMG source slide image alt don't forget it will be slide title and now Okay. Basically it works. We have three three slides. Uh, but we need some styles. For image we can set for example 100 pixels and in this case images will not won't be, won't be cut so let's add some for example let's put under the up mm, yep for example, I want uh, all image uh, up image with 100%. Okay, now we have our images. Slider works fine. The next. According to the documentation, you can see that we have a lot of different models. For example, it's navigation, pagination, arrows. And in case we want to extend our application, we can add the models. Navigation, pagination, scroll bar and uh, accessibility. A11Y. Let's add these models. Inside our slider, we want. Nope, nope. Here, models. Then we will import them from the swiper. As you see, it's from the main library, not from the swiper React. We have these models, and uh, then we need enable them. So we need pagination, navigation, pagination, scroll bar, props. Let's add them. And the next important part, we need the styles for each model. Where we will find them? inside swiper we have models and for each model for example pagination we have pagination mean css so we can import specific model we want but to save our time not the file size we can import 
Swiper bundle min CSS and inside this bundle we will have all styles for all models. Uh, swiper bundle bundle min CSS and all styles will be available out of the box. Let's check. So after a refresh, as you see, we have buttons, we have arrows, and we even have this slider. We can swipe. So everything is out of the box. What's the benefit of this model? this swiper library that you can configure how many slides you want to see on the page before because of for example if you used bootstrap carousel there is no possibility to configure how many slides you want to see on the page so with this one it's a great benefit also important notice when you're using some library, you can open GitHub and check issues. How many issues are opened and how often they are closed. Just to be sure that this library is up to date, somebody works on it and you are not using some legacy. Okay, so basically this carousel is done also. If you will open any component of the slider, you will see that there is a special class, for example, swiper button brief or next. So using this class name, you can easily configure UI of the component. It's a really great way to customize your slider. Also, what I want to show you, according to the documentation, there are a lot of additional styles and configs you can use. From the behavior, you can use uh, hooks, use Viper, and any other component on the, your site can manage your slider. You can call slide next, slide previous, also, there is samples how to use UI effects. For example, if you will go to effect demo page, you will see, for example, this one. You can swipe. Also, you can find the code sample. Let's try. So we have images. We need the effect cube. Also, we need cube effect props parameters. And don't forget about effect cube. Let's import it from the swiper. Let's add it. And uh, as you see, works great. Okay. So basically it's that's it. Now you can see how to use this library to create awesome carousel for your site. Really it's it has a lot of 
options, possibilities, and you can configure your slider as much as you need. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and uh, have a good day. Bye.